First I start off with my jacket laying flat on a board or cutting board, whatever you're gonna use, and you use a seam ripper to take apart the very bottom layer of the jacket. Also removing the zipper as well. I suggest you highly get a seam ripper. It makes the job way faster and way easier. So then you go in and spread the jacket out again. And I'm using this shirt as a template because I like the way it's shaped and the shirt I'm making is gonna be similar to this shape. So I'm putting this on top and I'm getting the very bottom that I take took off and I'm going to put that at the bottom of the shirt because that's going to be added to the shirt so I don't want to cut it longer I want to cut the exact amount of shirt needed that includes that very bottom strip if that makes sense so what I'm going to do is line it all up and I'm going to pin where I'm going to cut because that will be my guide once I remove the shirt I will have the pins on the side which will help me figure out where I need to cut the jacket in half to give me the right amount of fabric. I'm going to use a ruler which will help me make sure that it's perfectly straight. Now when I come to sewing and doing projects I'm not exact just because I mean I like little imperfections but I say get a ruler so that it is straight and I use a marker to give me the straight line that I'm going to cut with my scissors and I just cut straight along that line now once I finish completing that I take away that extra fabric and again I put my template back on top and then I go ahead and pin where I want to cut the sides off basically the same thing you did before but you're going to trace the side using pins and it will be a guideline for where your shirt will fit or your jacket will fit your body now this has a little bit of stretch the shirt that I have has a ton of, ton of stretch but make sure that your garment has some stretch to it so that you don't make it too tight or you make it the right size so that you have enough room when you go and put it on the Adidas jacket doesn't have that much stretch and for a halter top you want to have a little bit of stretch so we're going to cut it along the lines or along where I pinned it up and then we're going to fold it in half to give you the other side so that it's symmetrical and I just think that this is way easier than pinning both sides because this gives you the exact measurement so that they're, we know for sure that they are equal. you complete cutting both sides now we have to remove the back layer of the jacket and we're going to use that same seam ripper and you're going to start on the outside of where you just cut you don't want to remove the part that is going to be attached so you want to start on the outside where the fabric is going to be removed and you use the seam ripper and that see how it takes apart the back part now we're not going to be using the entire back triangle, only the front triangle, so that's why we're removing the back, but we are going to be using the collar. So you go in and make sure that it's fully detached and see where it's connected and use the seam ripper to make sure that it is fully detached from the front of the jacket. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to fold the front down where the triangle meets the straight edge and you're going to put a ruler right there because we are going to remove that entire section because the back of the jacket is going to be different than the front. We just need that very small section to complete the back of the jacket. So you're going to cut that off and just not discard that because we're going to need some of that fabric or some of that detail from that other piece. So just put that to the side and you're going to pin those sides together and it's going to show you see the jacket is unfolding I, right here I'm just moving just some extra pieces that I don't need you can go ahead and cut those because it really doesn't matter and they're just extra part of the lining that was left over so then you turn the jacket over and you're going to hem the very top of that and you just do a bit, about a half an inch a seam and you're going to sew it down I'm going to use black thread because that's all I got 
but I do advise you to use or suggest you use the actual thread that matches the garment. It'll just look more professional in my opinion. But all I have was black and you know I made it work. So you're just going to go ahead and pin that down and you're going to use a sewing machine to stitch that so that it makes it neat and clean. Then you're going to go back and pin just the sides and you're going to stitch that down as well. Again, I advise you to use a sewing machine because this fabric and this type of look needs something tight like a sewing machine. Hand sewing is not going to do a good enough job. So you sew it all down and then you turn it back the correct way. And next what we're going to do is add the very bottom of the jacket which was the part of the very part bottom of the jacket that we originally had. And so first what I like to do is measure that around my waist or measure it about around where the jacket is going to go so that I can make sure that it's tight because if it was at the bottom of the jacket that means it's probably too loose for your waist or where the bottom of this little shirt is going to hang. So I like to pin that first. I do not sew it. I just pin it so that I can sew it later on. And then you go in and you match up the pocket where the zipper was originally at and you go ahead and just match it up again like you were doing like it was for the regular jacket then you fold it over inside out because you're going to stitch that around the bottom so you pin it and you make sure you pin it like an inch away from the zipper because you want to leave that part exposed you don't want to sew it so close to the zipper because when you flip it down then it won't lay flat so Give it an inch away from the zipper before you start sewing. And do that on the both sides. So when you go all the way around, stop an inch before you get to the zipper. Once that is all sewed down, then we're going to attach our zipper. And it's pretty self-explanatory. You just fit it in the pocket and you pin it down and you sew it down. Now, a major key when putting the zipper in, I suggest you do one side at a time. Pin one side, sew it, and then do the other side and sew it. But do not stitch all the way to the very top of the garment. Stop below the collar because we're going to do something different at the very top because we have to shorten that zipper and everything. So that's what it looks like when you finish sewing the zipper in. and. What we need to do is shorten our zipper. Now, I like to shorten the zipper with the zipper still attached. Now, so make sure that you pull, you can cut it a little bit, but then pull the zipper back towards the garment so that you don't lose that zipper. And then you go ahead and use that piece that you cut as a guide where to cut the other side of the zipper. And once you do that, then your zipper will be still attached and you won't have to worry about trying to like put it back on after it's come off of the, the outfit. <clears throat> so once you cut the zipper, then you go in and just squeeze that into the very top pocket and make sure that it is all the way in there, that the teeth are all the way in. Because if the teeth are not all the way in, then the zipper will come off. So push those teeth all the way in, kind of curve them in so that the zipper can stop when it gets to the top. So that's what it looks like once the zipper is all in, once the, everything is all sewn down. Now what we're going to do is add a little bit of detail to this jacket. Now what's the Adidas without the three stripes? I had to find a way to incorporate this three stripes into this outfit because I feel like that's just the signature part of an Adidas outfit. So I take off a stripe of one of the shirts and we're going to add that detail to the very back of your shirt slash jacket, whatever, halter top, whatever you want to call it. And what you do is attach that to the inside of the collar because since we took out the back layer of the jacket, it leaves a pocket open for the collar where you're going to go ahead and add this part in. And then you're going to pin it up around and seam and sew the entire thing closed. So make sure you add this inside, pin it, then sew it. Along with sewing this and pinning this, I also like to sew the very edges of the front of the halter top just to make that clean as well. So add about a half an inch of seam for that and pin it and sew it 
and I just did it in one fell curve. So I started from one end and just kept going all the way around till I got to the other side. And that included the collar and the sides all in one stitch. That is done and all sewn together. You're gonna add that back strap to the very bottom of your jacket. Also, I did fail to mention that that's when you're gonna sew the very bottom of your jacket. When you sew this in, you're gonna sew that very bottom part where you pinned it earlier. You're gonna sew that close too and, and make sure that you measure it once your zipper is in so that you can make sure that it fits. So you're gonna measure your three stripes according to how it looks when you wear it. So try it on first before you just sew it down because you don't know how long you're gonna need it. You don't want it to be too short, you don't want it to be too long, you don't want it to be baggy, you want it to fit perfectly. So try this on and measure where you want these stripes to be. And there you have it, my Adidas halter top made out of my jacket. I mean, I'm so proud of myself. It is so freaking cute. What do you guys think? Don't forget to like and comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you later.